Hello, I am Prajan Mudas and you are watching Straight Up. The Union Budget 2021 was presented at the Lok Sabha today by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Reportedly, a total of 54,873.66 crore was allocated for school education and 38,350.65 crore for higher education. This is 9.5% higher than last year's allocation. The Finance Minister also announced a set of new allocations in line with the NEP. National Language Translation Mission will translate policy-related information that will be available on the internet in regional languages. The Finance Minister also announced that the government will be setting up Regional National Institute of Virology. The National Research Foundation or the NRF will get a total of 50,000 crores over a period of 5 years to strengthen research in India. Over 15,000 schools will be built to implement national education policy and act as a model for the rest of the schools. 100 new Sainik schools will also be set up. A central university will be set up in the youngest union territory of Ladakh. The varsity will come up in Leh, but a tentative date of construction has not been decided yet. 750 Iklavya model residential schools in tribal areas will be set up. The unit cost for each school will be increased from 20 crores to 38 crores and 48 crores in hilly areas where construction is tougher. The post-matrix scholarship scheme will be revamped. Sitaraman also said that central assistance will be enhanced for the scheme. A total of 35,219 crores will be disbursed over a period of 6 years. The Apprenticeship Act will be amended to increase opportunities for students. It will now provide post-education apprenticeship. The graduates and diploma holders in engineering will be trained under the scheme. A total of rupees 3,000 crores were allotted for this scheme. While the total allocation has increased almost 10%, whether it is enough to fuel the NEP-led vision of New India is still the big question. That's all for today. Like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel. See you again tomorrow.